What can we expect this summer for the Seattle area real estate market? Well, we're going to talk about that today. I'm going to pull out my crystal ball. Uh, we're going to cover Eastside Seattle and Snohomish County real estate market update, uh, covering May statistics. Uh, hi, I'm Tony Meyer with Windermere Real Estate. For 34 years, I've been an avid study of the real estate market, and I'm going to take that knowledge and experience and try to distill that down in information you can use to make a decision on your involvement in our real estate market today. Uh, we're going to talk about the top four housing numbers you need to know. That includes interest rates, months of inventory, median sales price, and then sales price to original list price ratio. How negotiable are sellers having to be to secure a sale in the marketplace? So first up is interest rates. The average for May was 6.57, up a 1.5% from a year ago and up a tick from April. As I record this video in June, we've taken kind of a beating and we're close to 7% right now. So we'll see how that pans out for next month, but there's where we stand in May compared to the years before. So first up is our stats on the east side. Uh, the nine year average is nine tenths of a month of inventory. And for those who are just watching this video, months of inventory is not how long it takes to sell a home. It is the division of supply versus demand. So real estate's not a commodity, but it is subject to the laws of supply versus demand. Anything under two months of inventory is a seller favored market. And so we're sitting about where we have been for the last nine years, which is a good, healthy marketplace. Uh, next up is uh, median sales price. So we plateaued. Um, April, we hit a million four fifty. That was our fourth month of appreciation. And May is now tied with that. So as we talk about the future, normally the first half of the year is the time of year when we see appreciation. And the second half of the year is when things flatten out. And sometimes we even give a bit of that back. And I will say, interest rates are really going to dictate the future. What happens that, with that? If we see interest rates drop, expect prices to increase. If we see interest rates to continue to go up, expect prices to flatten out or even decline. So it's really an interest rate question. Uh, last up for the east side is the original list price to sales price ratio. So a year ago, we were selling homes for an average of 6% above the list price on the east side. This year, they're selling for 1% below. And Part of the east side's issue is the amount of upper end properties plus $2 million plus properties. And those properties are not seeing the type of fluidity that the lower end is. The lower end houses are seeing multiple offers and selling for more where that is not happening on the upper end. So that's why you're seeing the average east side home selling for 1% less. Uh, next up is Seattle. So Seattle's nine year average is eight tenths of a month of inventory currently sitting in the same as it was in April at 1.2 months of inventory. Uh, prices are still going up uh, in Seattle. So we saw some mild appreciation between April and May. We're certainly down from a year ago as all of our marketplaces, mainly due to interest rates as we keep talking about. Um, were our sellers in, in their negotiability? So last year they were selling for 9% above. Still this year they're selling for 1% above, which is why you're seeing prices continue to climb in Seattle. And most of that has to do with the fact that the marketplace in general is below a million dollars and it's much more affordable as you'll see with Snohomish County as I move to that next. So speaking of Snohomish County, they are basically exactly where they would expect to be for the last nine years at eight tenths of a month of inventory for May, same as it was in April. So a good favorable marketplace. Uh, prices continue to go up, not significant, but upward movement nonetheless, move from 767 to 780, down just only a bit from where it was in a year ago at 815. So Snohomish County, again, affordability is being the key. Lots of buyers are moving there because they can afford a house and with interest rates being higher, their, their payments, their dollar doesn't go as far as they, it used to. So they've got to step into the lower ends of the marketplace. Uh, Negotiability, original list price to sales price ratio uh, for Snohomish was 6% above uh, last year. It's now at list price this year. So a good stable marketplace. So as I talked about the crystal ball, we normally expect the first half of the year to be our appreciation side of the year. And the second half can be flat or even declining. I would say this year, you really have got to watch interest rates. If we see a decline in interest rates, we're going to see prices take a quick jump. We do not have an abundance of inventory, and that would be one other component that would hold back prices. We're well below where we would normally be for all of the area on inventory. So if interest rates take a jump down, we're gonna see prices clip up. Interest rates remain flat, 
or even increase, that will have a negative effect on pricing. Probably not significant, again, because of the inventory side of the equation. Buyers just don't have a ton of choices, so they're going to be forced to pay prices that they might not have had there been a bunch of homes and a bunch of competition. But if you want to know about the marketplace, you're considering a move, you want to know what's happening in one specific neighborhood, and you want to know the next neighborhood that you're going to go to, reach out to us. You can hit us up in the comments below. Uh, you can give us a call. Um, if you like what we have to say to help YouTube along with our algorithm, please hit the like button. It does get our message out there. And to make sure you're involved in our future updates, hit subscribe. Well, that's it for now on our monthly updates. We'll talk with you again in July. Take care.